inner primer on Bellatar's workmeister harmonies, Kristen asked a simple yet provocative question. Where are we going? What is going on in this film? My video essay will argue that shots in Tar's film have a progression of formalistic reframing. What we see in many shots is the real world, graced with the aesthetics of cinema. Each shot, in its duration, transforms and unfolds before our eyes. A bar room becomes a stage. A stage becomes a mock drunken universe. Realism takes on form. But each shot that I have chosen moves before us, is indeed going somewhere. Tar meticulously arranges his shots so that in the seemingly realistic passage of time, a shot begins to reveal itself. Here Tar is playing with chiaroscuro, or the formal contrast between light and dark. Lindsay called this in her blog post negative space. By the end of the shot, the darkness threatens to fill the entire frame. It's important to keep in mind that while I am arguing for a formalist reading of Workmeister Harmonies, the passage of time is still a tremendous effect of watching the movie, so I do not want to totally override the realistic style. But at times, the progression of duration reveals a hidden, dreamlike beauty to this dilapidated, run-down town. Even a truck moving slowly down the street takes on an ominous and magisterial form. Like the subconscious, the formalist tendency lurks beneath all shots of realism. I would even go so far as to call Workmeister part of Tom Gunning's cinema of attractions. This may seem counterintuitive, but Bellatar uses metacinematic, formalistic techniques that call attention to the nerdy filmgoers like ourselves in the audience. This sequence embodies, literally, the aesthetic of the film's frame. We watch, almost miraculously, as reality takes shape before us. The contours of the screen are quietly filled. Whatever terror of this town, Whatever dread that threatens every shot is for a moment contoured and contained in the form of the cinematic frame. But each shot demands our patience and attention. Each shot makes us wait. Bucknell's very own Harold Schweitzer has written a book on what he calls the art of waiting. If you settle with the rhythm of the slowly transforming shots, if you can enter into that dreamlike state of watching Workmeister Harmonies, if you can wait, you risk an intimacy with the film. In your waiting, you can bear witness to beauty. És akkor nem a csend. The last great formalist tendency to mention in the film is the non-diegetic music that captures the strange sadness felt in this town 
felt in these very shots. Last week in class, we lamented how difficult it is to maintain attention, to focus on one specific thing for a period of time. This movie does not follow conventions to get our attention, yet we cannot experience it unless we fully invest ourselves in it. I have used six one-minute shots that each ask us to observe, to wait, to bear witness, even to dream. If we can do this, if we are willing to do this, the shots often grace us with a formalistic flourish. For instance, when the men in this scene feel despair over the order of the universe, a halo appears to restore order. Form can provide hope.